constable. That's what we're talking about here. The basis of all diplomatic relations is not who you are, but who the other side thinks you are. Now, I've worked very hard creating an image of Canadians we can all be proud of. Yes, sir. You, on the other hand, have been doing everything in your power to wreak havoc on that image. Sir? All this do-gooding constable, picking up litter, rescuing kittens, saving people's lives. What sort of message do you suppose that sends to the Americans? Uh, that we care, sir? Exactly. And people don't fear people who care. I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't aware that we wanted the Americans to fear us. That's what every country wants, Fraser. No one takes you seriously if they think they can push you around. Do you think I would have risen this high if people weren't afraid of me? When can it be ready? Wednesday. Nonsense. I need it this afternoon. I'll have to take them with me. Well, then get on with it, man. Get on with it. There. Did you see that, Fraser? That's another American tailor that fears me. I could see that, sir. And that's what Canada needs. To be feared by tailors? Along with every other American. Do we have a plan to accomplish this, sir? Yes, but I'm not at liberty to reveal it at this moment. The important thing is that you not undermine our efforts with all this nice guy stuff. Yes, sir. As to my assignment? Assignment? Yes. I need you to hand deliver a very important document. Ah. Now, I don't want to say that the relationship between our two countries rests on its safe arrival. But if something were to go wrong, I can't speak as to the consequences. It looks like a party invitation, sir. Clever, no? Just make sure that someone gives you a, um... Get, get a... Signature? A signature, yes. And get the balloons on the way home. We're counting on you doing your part to make sure our reception is a success. You know your duties? Doorman, sir. Is that what you do? Yes, sir. Well, keep up the good work. Carry on. Oh, and constable. Godspeed. Thank you, sir. Oh. I have to go out for a while, Ethan Baker, on a very important assignment, so what I would suggest is that you just... Ethan Baker. Oh, please, don't do this to me now. Dave. There is nothing more frustrating than playing hide and seek with a deaf wolf. Jasmine, have you seen Deefen Baker? No, Fraser, I haven't. Ah, well, if you do, could you tell him that I had to go out for a while? Sure thing. Can I give you a hand across the road, ma'am? Well, aren't you the kind young man? Where are you from? Well, ma'am, I'm from... I'd rather not say. Ah, please. Je m'appelle Catherine. Comment allez-vous? Could you tell me how to get to the nearest post office? Two blocks up on your right. Je vais bien, I'm sorry. You'll have to speak up. I'm trying to learn French, and it's difficult to do two things at once, especially if they're in two different languages. Two blocks up on your right. Oh, thanks anyway. I'll find it myself. Oh, damn. Fermez la porte, Jacques. Merci. Fermez la porte, Jacques. Merci. Comment Oh, I beg your pardon. Oh! In God's name, do you think you're doing? Light and broad daylight. I don't know where you get the idea that you can just do whatever you please. Well, you've just tackled the wrong woman, mister. Well, actually, I think you misunderstand. I misunderstand? Oh, that's very nice. That's very nice of you to accuse me of not understanding. I'm too rash, too emotional, incapable of reason, huh? Well, no, I didn't Let mean me that. What I meant was... When I want something, I ask. When someone says something, I listen. I don't grab people and throw them to the ground when they're trying to learn French. And if I do... Well, I at least apologize. Well, I, I, I'm terribly sorry, but you misunderstand. You see, you were about to be hit by a truck. Oh. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? After all, I'm not a mind reader. Oh, dear. Um... 